came from Japan. You know, because so much goes into launching a probe, landing it on the moon, and using it for exploration missions, I used to think that it was too big of an undertaking for private corporations, but that's not the case now, and the moon seems more accessible and familiar. Yes, there is a corporation in Japan with plans to make a hotel in space, and they are currently working on some incredible lunar utilization plans as well. A hotel in outer space. That sounds like something from a sci-fi movie. This video will explain more about the plan. Please take a look. This is a major construction company in Tokyo. The company is looking forward to the space age and working on the concept of a space hotel. And they came up with a revolutionary idea for utilizing the moon. This is a lunar solar power generator, the lunar ring. The idea is to use the moon itself as a generator. First, the whole moon will be ringed by solar panels. The energy that is generated through solar power will be converted into microwaves and transmitted to Earth. It will be received offshore and then converted into electrical power. The company estimates that a 400 kilometer wide ring of solar panels will be enough to meet all of the Earth's energy needs. And what's more, they suggest using lunar sand to construct the solar panels. Lunar sand contains a large amount of silicon, which can easily be formed into solar panels. If we can use the moon to generate electricity, any country that can see the moon can receive energy from it, which would be great for countries with a shortage of energy. The goal is for it to benefit mankind as a whole. The company is pushing forward with research and hopes to begin construction in 2035. That is an immense project. It's literally out of this world. And if achieved, it will be a new energy source that replaces both nuclear and natural energy. In addition to the generators, the company has proposed plans to build a lunar base and is working daily to achieve this goal. I see. And could you tell us about Japan's upcoming plans for lunar development? Yes. JAXA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, is currently working to send Kaguya's successor to the moon. And while Kaguya only orbited the moon, the new explorer will land and send out a rover for observation missions. It will also use seismic waves that occur there to study the inner structure. I expect the challenges towards the moon to pick up pace as time goes on.